the platform. I don't know if you can see the platform it's on your end. We have Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. We are live. Okay. <clears throat> Let's wait for a few minutes so people are connected. People said salam earlier. Yeah. Salam <clears throat> alaikum. Hello, everyone. Assalamu alaikum everyone, marhaba bikum. My name is uh, Dr. Sosan Shaddadi, and we are here for the live with Dr. Amina Dwidi. Le but ta le live ta l'yom, wa nahdro ala le cours ta na ta limitless learning, ta rah yibda le 4 août, inshallah. It is for university professors. In English, this course is for you. Amal, Amula, Salam, Salam. Yasmin, Salam alaikum, merci. Hi. Alaikum Salam. I mean, I can you see the comments on the sidebar? Perfect. Good, good, good. Okay, people are uh, joining in slowly. على بالي عندكم سخانه واليوم برومي جور دو لا سومان تاع الخدمه ولا القرايه ولا واش عندكم ديرو دونك اتس نوت اتس نوت ايزي ما قدرناها على التمنيه تاع الليل كوم سا تكونوا شويه ريحتوا ان شاء الله مروان بالتوفيق شكرا مروان شكرا ليتس ويت انذر مينيت بعد نبدا ان شاء الله مرحبا بكم سو الناس اللي راهم معانا بليز تقدروا تحطوا لي كومونتير تاعكم في لا كان راكم في فيسبوك ولا يوتيوب ولا لينكدين ولا تويتر جوست حطوا لي كومونتير تاعكم نقدروا نشوفوهم او ميم طون دوك نبدا بيك اون بوتيت بريزونطاسيون رابيد نهضر لكم شويه على ليميت لاسيرنينغ وعلى لو كور تاعنا ومن بعد جو في بريزونتي الاستاذه امينه دويدي اللي راهي معنا اليوم اند ذن نعطيوها الكلمه انا كنحب كاش ما تزيد حوايج دي انفورماسيون على وش هضرت انايا اند ذن نعطيكم مجال باش يو اسك اني كويستشنز بوزونا لي كيستيون تاعكم على لو كور تاع يونيفرسيتي بروفيسورز اوكي ليتس جيت ستارتد هلو ايفري وان السلام عليكم Again, today we're going to talk about um, English as a medium of instruction for university professors. Le cours Hada, c'est quatre semaines intensives. Yibdam le 4 août, hatta le 28 août, inshallah. My name is Dr. Salsal Chaddadi. I am the CEO and co founder of Limitless Learning, which is the Institute, the Algerian Institute of Professional Skills. All the information to go home to www.limitlesslearning.us. We are an e-learning platform which provides professionals, students, companies, and universities in Algeria with world-class, hands-on training in the fields of technology, communication, diversity, and inclusion. Les cours de la drogue sont disponibles en cybersecurity, conversational English, English for professors, and AI foundations, as well as Python coding. <clears throat> you get a certificate of completion signed by myself as well as the instructor. In this case, Dr. Amin Dwidi will be signing your, uh, your uh, certificate. Uh, you will be able to use the certificate um, uh, in your professional advancement. You will be uh, holding the certificate, which means that you, uh, you have completed the hours and have the skills needed for the specific course you are taking. La platform tenants, I'm the Google platform. Everything is through um, uh, the Google platform workplace. Uh, Gmail account, 
Google Classroom and Google Meet. Um, you, you can, we will be using Google Calendar as well as Google Chat. question, limitless learning. We highly recommend you attend live sessions. Donc, le cours tech nous est en live, mais tu as besoin d'attendre à un spécifique temps, à un programme. Pour t'attendre avec l'ostat tech, mais bien sûr, là, quand on a des exceptions, on ne peut pas t'attendre pour le public recording. Mais le recording is not expected. C'est pas, c'est pas automatique. On vous encourage à t'attendre in person, um, um, live with your instructor. Une question que j'ai besoin, besoin, besoin à limitless learning, il y a, alors, je m'en vais chercher un battle. There are so many thousands and millions of classes online for free. So here are the main reasons. Number one is the high quality content. The content panel, which is copied from the internet, is a content that has been studied and developed by our experts. We have expert instructors. For example, today we have Dr. Amina Dwidi, who, who is an expert in her field. She has a PhD. We, we don't just have people coming and teaching with little experience. We have people who are experts in their subject matter. You have the ability to ask questions. Can you the the video on the YouTube battle? Man, dix lo l'opportunité bas t'asks les questions tag live le stade avec. It's interactive and personalized learning. Man, it ha personalisé dans le sens où le contenu ta le cours rahi kom personalisé to your needs. You have immediate feedback, like an andek gelta dertam ou la you need improvements. You will have immediate feedback for your uh, learning. And then lastly, you have the opportunity to network. Network manatha taqdar stallam min your peers, nasi rahmi kharam haq. Khatar, our learners are everywhere in the world. They are Algerians, but they are based everywhere in the world. <coughs> so, le cours la hina hadra alayhi liyum huwa English as a medium of instruction for university professors. C'est quoi le cours hada? C'est un cours de quatre semaines intensif. Normalement, des romans huit semaines, mais ça, c'est le troisième groupe les rachines de mon mari, troisième groupe de professeurs les rachines de mon mari qui a le sujet. Ou four weeks parce que pendant l'été, la campagne fait comme des vacances. Donc, tu dois te à un sujet, un module, tu te mets in four weeks. It is designed to help higher education lecturers in Algeria. Et mais si tu as un professeur, tu dois être un assistant, tu dois être un étudiant en doctorat ou habite قري يعني كما سيستون في لو دومين تاعك في لو ديبارتمون تاعك تقدر تدي لو كور هذا باش تتعلم تقري اون اونغلي اا اتس فور ليكتشرز ان الجزائر هو وونت تو انتيغريت انجليش ان ذير تيتشينغ براكتيس بارتيسيبانتس ويل ليرن اباوت ديفرنت ثيوريز بيداغوجيز اند ستراتيجيز نيسيساري تو كرييت ان افكتيف ليرنينغ انفايرمنت وير انجليش از ذا ميديوم اوف انستراكشن دونك لو تيرم برينسيبال هنايا في لو كور هذا هو اي ام اي انجليش از ا ميديوم اوف انستراكشن الحين نسمعوا بزاف لو تيرم هذا اللي هو لا نوفيل استراتيجي تاع الجزائر باش نبداو في سبتمبر ان شاء الله نقراو اون اونغلي دونك هادو سي لو نيفو دو 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 لونغ اونغليز ان تيرمز اوف انجليش لانجويج اكويزيشن ليفلز عندك لو نيفو دو ا زيرو هو ستارتر تو نيفو سي ان اللي هو واحد ادفانس pour le cours hada lazim yikoun andak un niveau entre A2 et B1 minimum معناتها تقدر تفهم واحد كي يهضر لونغلي ماشي لازم فورسيمون تهضر مليح لونغلي مي لازم تفهم واحد كي il explique un cours en anglais comme ça تقدر تكون à l'aise pour le cours hada <coughs> so what are the course object- objectives le, le, les objectifs تاع le cours hada واش هما we need to understand the principles of the Algerian language policy with regards to EMI donc again uh, le cours hada il existe partout avec, euh, dans d'autres euh, plateformes. Mais ça, it's, uh, it's tailored for Algerian professors and, and teachers and lecturers. Donc c'est pour les Algériens, pour le, le contexte algérien. It identifies the challenges and opportunities of EMI. It examines the language beliefs and practices that support an integration of EMI. It evaluates pedagogical practices from different contexts that facilitate EMI. It implements the language and pedagogical strategies in one subject area. It creates a strategy to integrate EMI in one's teaching practice. And then lastly, which is one of my favorite topics, understand the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion in Algerian context and the role of EMI in internationalization. 
So these are the course objectives. And as you can see, they have been designed by Dr. Amin Edwidi. And this is a, a course designed specifically for Algerian professors. So the program is what? The program is what? You can read two times per week, because it's a course intensive. For four weeks. So in all and for all, there are eight sessions. Two times per week, for four weeks. The program will be in the gym and in the gym, from 8 to 10 to 10, Algeria time. تبداو لو 4 اوت ان شاء الله بوندون 4 سيمان جوسكو 28 اوت ها ماتش اس كوست دونك لو كو هذا يسوى 39900 دينار بصح لو كان تسجلوا قبل لو 28 جويي ان شاء الله عندكم اون ريميس تاع 10000 دينار دونك لو كو راح يكون 29900 قبل لو 28 جويي ان شاء الله تقدروا تخلصوا تاع ترافيرس سي سي بي كارت دو كريدي الناس اللي راهم بالخارج ولا باي بال وتقدروا ميم تخلصوا ا ترافيرس سي بي ا جو بلي دو ماتري سي مي وي هاف دو اوبورتونيتي تو باي ثرو سي بي ا ناو فوالا ام وي دو هاف ا سبيشال اوفر توداي خاطر ورا اللايف هذا عندنا ان اوتر لايف مع استاذه دكتور سهام رواح اللي عندها ان اوتر كور تاع انجليش دونك باغ اكزومبل اليوم لا كان وي بروني لي دو كور تاعنا ات ليميت ليس ليرنينغ عن كان كورتا اي ام اي مع دكتور امينه دويلي اللي سوا 29900 تقراو بالجمعه وبالاثنين لو دوزيام كور اللي هو كونفرسيشنال انجلش مع الاستاذه دكتور سهام روابح راح يسوا 25900 تقراو بالسبت والاربع دونك فريمون لكن حبيتو فو فو زاميليوري فوت انغلي بارلي يعني كونفرسيشن انجلش en parallèle avec la pédagogie et la pédagogie et la pédagogie avec Dr. Amin Adwidi. Je pense que c'est la meilleure opportunité parce que la pédagogie le mois d'août est là. Nous trouvons la rentrée en septembre ou à Jdin pour l'enseignement dans le Jamia et le Jazari. Maintenant, c'est le temps d'introduire notre instructeur ici, qui est Dr. Amin Adwidi. Je suis très fière que Amin Adwidi a rejoint notre équipe il y a quelques mois. And um, we have had a successful uh, group with her, and students loved it. Like, and who's at Curio? Um, reviews the limitless learning. Go to Google Maps, tap on limitless learning Algeria to see what people think about limitless learning. So, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce Dr. Amina Dwidi. Umbaad, natal hal kalima, uraha nakadron deu le question. All right. So, Dr. Amina Dwidi, marhaba, marhaba. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us today. She is a diversity, equity, and inclusion and intercultural communication consultant in English language teaching. She holds a, P a PhD in modern language and applied linguistics from the University of Southampton in the UK, where she is currently based, and a joint MA in ELT from Clemson University and, Univer and University of Balearic, Balearic Islands in Spain. Uh, she is a DEI, so Diversity, Equity and Inclusion diver, uh, reviewer for ELT publishers and teaches pre-sessional English for academic purposes at UK higher education institutions. She is an Associate Fellow of Advanced, uh, of advanced Higher Education and acts as co-editor of the TESOL ICIS newsletter, championing contributions, contributions of teachers and researchers from the global majority. Thank you so much, Amina. Please go ahead and um, if you have something to say for us, and thanks again for being here. Thank you so much, Dr. Shaddadi, for having me and for the nice introduction. We could also add that I am now an EMI instructor at Limitless Learning. I think we should add that to the bio, don't we? Definitely. So thank you everyone for joining us. Um, this, this is a huge opportunity for us to uh, discuss the, the very debated topic, which is English introduced in higher education in Algeria. There are people who are resisting it, people who are, who are welcoming it, people who are not really sure whether it's a good um, approach or not, but the change is coming, it's happening now, um, and that's what my course is about. I'll be, um, I would like to share with you some more details about the course, and while I am presenting the course, maybe we could look at the comment section, and you can put in questions about um, 
the content of the course, but general questions about the transition that Algeria is experiencing from moving teaching STEM subjects, in particular from French to English, and what kind of challenges you feel uh, will be faced by our lecturers, instructors, and teachers and professors in Algerian universities. So let me start by sharing my... We do have quite a few questions already. Thank you guys for asking questions. Um, Snowbark, I mean, let's commit her uh, presentation and uh, we can we can move on with answering your questions. Thank you. I will that. try to be very brief and um, explicit. As uh, I, This is just a repetition of what you've already presented, the course objectives. Um, so the, the, we decided to call it English as a medium of instruction for university professors because it's not a language class. We don't teach English in this session. In these sessions, we rather help you identify strategies and solutions on how you can integrate English in your teaching in a very progressive way. So the first step is identifying your beliefs and the kind of challenges you feel you will be facing in your teaching experience um, and in your teaching in English and the kind of fears that you have um, about, you know, it's, it's very vulnerable to teach in a language where you're not very comfortable. So the idea here is that we will equip you with the tools and the solutions that will help you transition in a very smooth way. Um, the course has um, various learning objectives that get spread out throughout the different sessions. The first maybe big pillar is understanding the beliefs and the challenges of transitioning to English. And then the second pillar is about the solutions that you can start integrating right away. Um, that could be pedagogical, in that case, um, kind of strategies and how can you design your lessons in a way uh, that makes the use of English optimal. And then we have another pillar, which is um, how can you adapt the use of English in your own subject matter? And Sosan's favorite one is talking about the diversity in our classrooms and why actually we're moving to English. Um, the simple solution would be internationalization, but the project is bigger than that. So internationalization means that the Algerian university is opening its door to um, international collaborations to also international students who would be coming more and more hopefully to the Algerian campus in order to study most of the subject matters that um, are already offered at university. So um, the um, it's, it's eight sessions for a whole month from the 4th of August to the 28th of August. But these eight sessions are divided in six modules. So the module one is an introduction to EMI, EMI in an Algerian context. Um, the second module is about language proficiency and, and how you can improve yours. The third module is about pedagogy. Pedagogy, we do it in two, two sessions. So we have part one and part two. All these um, modules are research informed. So the, the course is, um, is informed by what is happening out there in the world of English as a medium of instruction around the world. So I inform my practice with research as much as I can, but I also provide practical um, solutions and, and advice on, on how you could do that. But you also have a chance to teach during the course. So we have something called micro teaching. This was a great opportunity to see how um, the university lectures uh, could use English in their specific subject area. It was very interesting. You have peer feedback. Um, and then um, finally, we, we end by to talking about how you can be inclusive of the different student populations and how you can continue your professional development after you finish this course. So in a nutshell, that's what the course is about. I'm happy to take questions now if you want. Oh, thank you, Amina. Thank you so much. That was that was a great uh, overview. And 
of the best things I loved about the, the last group, the group that I was in the last group, the last séance, I had the occasion to write like a mock kind of a, a, a class or teaching a session, and they uh, applied to the class of the class in the class. And they presented the class to each other in their domain in English. And uh, that was amazing. We had people from uh, chemistry, I believe, biology, medicine. We even had medical doctors. Um, we had uh, people from different. So the speciality that you have in any speciality, you can get the class in the class. Um, rather than learning actual English as a language. la différence principale entre un cours d'anglais un cours un cours um, just you know teaching like learning how to teach in English which is EMI. Okay, so let's take uh, questions. Okay. Yes, Min, you had a question about GPA in American universities. That's not really the topic of today, but it's okay. You can ask the question. Yes, go ahead and ask your question. Um, Hamidou Bounaouda is saying hi to you, Dr. Amina. And then, um, okay, let's see. So, Karim Bukhara. Please help me understand more. Is that you were saying? What is the difference between the English used in Cambridge University and Babzuwar University? Do you want me to take this one? Please, yeah. So Babzuwar University is um, situated in Algeria and the languages spoken in Algeria are Arabic, French, um, a mix of Arabic and French, but you can also have Amazigh, language is spoken in the um, surrounding area by most of the people who are in that space. You have also um, in different departments, people speak different languages professionally um, and the dominant one has been French so far. So now that we are moving to transition into English as a medium of instruction um, within the educational sector, higher education in particular. So in Babzuwar University, if, if we take this example, you will have instructors providing the course in English rather than French. Bear in mind that there are some university lecturers that have already been doing this in the past, especially those who got trained in English speaking countries and they, they couldn't really move away from um, practicing their, their profession in English. So, for example, I studied chemistry back in Tlemcen University a long time ago. And we had one university lecturer who was teaching us biology and he studied in the US and he, we had the chance to study chemistry and biology with him in English while other university lecturers were providing the course in French. So the linguistic landscape can be very dynamic and very different from, a, let's say, a UK university. We don't talk about English as a medium of instruction in the UK because it is a concept mainly designed or describes, that it is a concept that describes the use of English in an environment where English is not spoken outside of the higher education context. So if we are in a UK university, let's say here, Karim has mentioned Cambridge University, then the lecturers, if you go outside of the campus, everyone is speaking English predominantly. Therefore, we don't speak about English as medium of instruction. Mm -hmm. We speak about just studying in an English speaking country with uh, professors who speak English anyway. And you have to deliver your course in English. You have to do your homework in English. Um, when you leave the class, everything is in English around you. So we don't really speak about English of medium instruction. It's more of a concept designed for countries like ours, where um, English is not spoken outside of the campus, basically. Thank you, Dr. I mean, this is a great explanation because we we take we tend to kind of overlook the, the definition which we have on our website, but EMI is really for countries who do not speak English outside, like what uh, Osira just mentioned. Um, 
the peaky ma there other countries have adopted this like um in south asia in china in uh south america where they don't speak english outside but then um they use it as a medium of instruction at the university with the main goal is to integrate the Algerian universities in the uh, global ranking of universities to give a better chance to Algerian students to compete when English is a medium of instruction, so that um, English really becomes uh, the language used for science and, and technology and, and publications, etc., in Algeria. Because right now it's not the case, it's mostly in French or Arabic. Um, so someone is asking, okay, Maman de Perle, Anna Hadawin Perle, this is her question. Um, so um, the, I just posted the link, Hadawin Hatet Lulian, Ustadan Hatet Lulian Hanaya Bashsijli, I'm gonna post it again. Dora Tana Hadit, Le, le coût de 29, 000, 29 and 900, um, sorry, 29,900, 29 dinars, if you pay before July 28. Donc, 29,900 dinars, quand tu as le 28 juillet, tu as 39,900. Donc, quand tu as remis à 10 000 dinars, الناس اللي تسجل على الافونس افون لو 28 جويي ان شاء الله دونك هاو لو ليان اللي حاب يسجل اساتذه اغان هذه هذا سي بان كور تاع اونغلي سي ان كور تاع الاساتذه باش يولي يقريو اون اونغلي في لا رونتري ان شاء الله اوكي ليتس ليتس انسر ياسمين ياسمين بيكوز هير ان الجزائر دي كالكوليت لا مويان جينيرال باي انكلودينغ ديسيرتيشن جريد Oh, it's just talking about GP, GPA. Okay, I'm gonna answer you quickly, uh, Yasmin. So in the US, the system of grading is through GPA. If you go to uh, Google or ChatGPT and ask them to convert uh, the system that we have, Lihua sur 20, donc la note sur 20 to a US GPA system, it, it can just convert it because 20 sur 20, it's not necessarily, um, so for example, 15 sur 20, is a really good grade in Algeria, so it, it will match an A or a B plus in the US. So it's not necessarily like you're just matching the percentage. Donc le pourcentage 100%, c'est pas forcément égal à 20 sur 20. Donc if you go again on Google, they can just convert it for you. If you're applying for US universities, just make sure you include that table of conversion because it's not the same system. And uh, une note de 12 sur 20 is a fail in the US system, but in Algeria, it's a pretty good grade. So uh, just make sure um, you, you, you clearly identify the, the, the two systems and convert accordingly. Okay, so we have Mubashir Silicon Valley. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Ustad Mouad Bouash is saying, great. Thank you. Thank you. So we have um, GPU is asking, uh, Salam for all of you. Uh, what's the secret to accelerate learning. People there uh, speak English anywhere, anytime. Dr. Amin, I want to take this one. There are plenty of theories of how we could learn. So everyone, depending on their specialty, would tell you, oh, you learn English through movies, or you learn English through traveling, or you learn it that it's there is no one way of developing your own language proficiency. And whoever says this is the only way and the, the perfect way is lying to you. <laughs> so there are hundreds of ways, depending on every individual. About It depends about your motivation. It depends on so many things. Uh, so um, you just got to maybe get into it and, and start um, practicing as much as you can. And that's how I learned. So everyone learns differently. So I, there is no perfect answer to that. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
just so you know, but you can improve your English. C'est vrai que qui t'es chez Bled, English speaking country, like I did in the US, it's, it's very helpful. Parce que tu m'as une nez, ma l'accent t'as un, tu m'as un qui fait chez Hadro, ça a rien à voir. Mais en fait, c'est automatiquement que le le bain, on se met dans le bain avec ta nez, il y a beaucoup d'amis qui ne t'allent pas même automatiquement. Mais there is no secret. It's just um, You know, working on my, like right now, I still I'm still working on my English. Although people might say, okay, your English is good, I'm still working on it. I I. Saat ya demo man arfhamsh. En fait, arfham et me arfsh comment les prononcer. I just go to Google and click pronounce, so that I have the correct pronunciation and I can actually say it correctly. Khater j'ai remarqué que j'ai les Américains qui saat le mot quand on le prononce mal mais ils ne ils ont pas tendance à they, they can just guess you have to say it as it should be said and um, so I try I did really treat, did my best especially when I was teaching quand on parlait dans la jamaïque dans l'américain ou l'azim quand l'azim alien je prononce bien c'est non mais ils ne they cannot understand you donc uh, just pre- keep practicing if you have a chance to go to an English speaking country c'est bien mais c'est pas obligatoire on a fait n'est jamais rahoul L'américain, la langue d'Ottawa, il parle très très bien. Ils parlent mieux que moi. Donc, vraiment, juste, juste, you know, focus on l'apprentissage et prenez nos cours. Prenez une classe à limitless learning. You know, that's one way. We have a conversational class and then live. Juste au rahada, ma l'ostada Siham Rwaba. C'est un cours vraiment de conversational English. You're just going to be practicing English for four weeks. OK. Uh, Anwar, Madame Sousen, thank you. You're welcome. So I think he's just tagging people. And then maybe my question wasn't clear, Karim. Um, uh, okay, should have have been, but my understanding the English taught in English speaking countries or otherwise is the same. Anyhow, I'm wishing you the best and all the best of success, Allah willing, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Karim. I think he's, he's referring to, your, uh, to you answering his question earlier about the, what's the difference between Cambridge English and King English at Babzuha. Oh, fair enough. So maybe maybe he's speaking about accents or variations. I'm not really sure, but I could address that. Um, uh, whatever your, your question is, I can cover different angles and maybe I will answer one of it. So, um, okay, Karim, basically, In the field of English as a medium of instruction, research shows that it is something that is practiced, again, as we mentioned earlier, in countries that are not predominantly English speaking. So you will find English as a medium of instruction in India, in China, in Singapore, even though in some Singapore English is, is spoken widely in the society as well. So maybe in Kazakhstan, in, 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 in Nepal as well, In a lot of countries in Africa where um, maybe they are not post-colonial countries, like they don't have a post-colonial relationship with, with England or, or with the US. So the, the thing with the, the variation of English is localized. So whatever accent is predominant in that space, in that country, you will find it in the classroom. So if it is in Kazakhstan setting, And the teacher is from Kazakhstan, so the teacher will speak as a Kazakhstani who is speaking English. You shouldn't be expecting them to perform their fluency or their proficiency differently than or expect them to speak the same way somebody who is from Cambridge, teaching in Cambridge University, at Cambridge University would be speaking. So... EMI is something that is very localized and that is influenced by the local cultural linguistic environment where um, it is used. Thank you so much. This is um, it's a very good point. Khatarnas, they expect to speak English as a native speaker. I've seen people who are trying to learn Arabic. Uh, including people, les ambassades now in Algeria, they are trying to kind of like, the staff is trying, trying to learn Algerian uh, Arabic. They will always have an accent, right? Même ils sont là 40 ans. Ils ont même un accent qui est le Jazeera ou l'Arabie. C'est la même chose pour nous. Tu es tout le temps dans une pays d'autre, qui est un peu plus grand dans une pays qui n'est pas anglais, tu vas toujours avoir un accent. So, The expectation, Billy, 
uh, you should speak like an American or a British is good, but it's not, um, it's not something that's, that's a goal in itself, I think. It's possible, and it's great if you do, but it's not so important. As long as everyone can understand you, as long as you are able to, you know, you know, get the message through, um, people can understand what you're saying, then it doesn't matter what accent you have. And actually, I firmly believe that accents are very a big part of our personality. When you live abroad, people will know that you're not from there, and that's fine. Uh, I am very proud of my accent. I'm very proud of who I am. And uh, wherever I go, I'm like, yes, I'm Algerian. I was not born here. And it's, uh, it's a strength. And I'm sure it's, you might have had similar experiences. Like, I mean, in the UK, where uh, no matter how good your English is, there are words that we don't pronounce like they do. And they were not like, oh, where are you from? You have an accent, right? <laughs> I still say carrot instead of saying carrots. It's so <laughs> difficult to say carrots. I say carrot. carrot. Courgette as well is very hard. I cannot say courgette. It's like, <laughs> I have to say courgette. <laughs> you know what they say in you? They say zucchini. I don't even know where they got it from. It's not. It's important. Italian. Zucchini is it's Italian. Italian. <laughs> it's zucchini. I'm like, why, why is it called zucchini? <laughs> Courgette or aubergine, it's eggplant. Eggplant. Uh, well, here it's aubergine. Aubergine, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I still say aubergine because that's how how Thank we you. learned it first, and, um, and they understand it. And when know? someone says, "Oh, you say you say as if you are French," it's like, "No, I'm not French. I'm Algerian." <laughs> We're not French. <laughs> I'm not French. I'm Algerian. <laughs> you know, Algerian, North Africa. <laughs> so, I think they yeah. know more about Algeria in the UK than they do in the US. Well, we, we, when when you go when that's one of the opportunities that EMI will offer and will bring to the universities is we'll create more interconnection mm -hmm. and more transnational relationships so that the world gets to know the the beautiful things that we have to offer as a country, as people, as as cultures as well. So. The fact that we are transitioning using this language, it's 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 a chance for us to open our doors and our hearts to the world. But at the same time, it's also a chance to us learning from different countries from around the world beyond the US, UK, Australia. But we will be collaborating with African countries, Asian countries. European countries as well, um, Latin American countries as well. Um, there are plenty of similarities, culturally speaking, that we have with Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, and, and English could help us uh, create these relationships. So um, I think that there is a, a beautiful vision here. And my goal with this course is one course at a time, one small group at a time, help this transition and make the university lectures, Algerian university lectures, feel much more confident when they are teaching in English. So that's mm -hmm. the main goal, basically. I love that. I love that. Confidence, and it's the confidence in soi, but they learn to study in English devant their students. I think that's amazing. Uh, we will have uh, professors who are older, I mean, l'ancienne génération, la 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 jeune génération, just had a Cambly, just got their PhDs. I think it's amazing to have a diverse group, and this is how we create a stronger uh, generation of professors and educators in general. And so Dr. Yeah, yeah, they they are they are and uh, resilient too. Yes, oh. yes. Imagine like a, a lecturer who has been teaching for 10, 20, 30 years mm -hmm. in a certain way, and now they are deciding uh, mm -hmm. to, to be outside of their comfort zone and to start practicing the English, improving their language skills, but also reconsidering their whole teaching approach yeah. by using, through the use of English. So that's very, it's a vulnerable place to be. And you need to be really brave to step outside of this comfort zone of yours, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And um, um, you have a, a great comment from one of your former students. 
I don't know uh, which one is it. It's a Samsung, but I don't know which one. I think it's uh, Sarah, maybe. So hi, Amina. Hi, Sosen. I thank you for your uh, for this interesting program. I follow this training. It's very helpful, especially in pedagogy. I encourage all my colleagues to subscribe to this program. Amina, thank you for all of what you did for us. I learned a lot with you. I think that that's a great testimony, uh, Dr. Amina, for uh, from one of your former students. And if you're wondering why uh, they call us hi, Sosen, hi, Amina, because we go on a first name basis. Makanshle protocol, ki through at limitless learning, we just call uh, on a first name basis. There are also professors of Michael Badana just par les prénoms, and it's a very friendly environment. I told them at the beginning of the session, I said we will become friends, so let's get used to calling <laughs> each other with our first names, and that's what happened. We really got along very well. The sessions were inspiring. I learned a lot as well. I learned from each one of them, their experiences, um, their subject matters, also their, their, their approaches to pedagogy and assessment. It was very interesting. And what happened is that after every session, I would mm -hmm. take their feedback on and ask them how would they want to take, it, take the course forward. And mm -hmm. I have changed a lot of things based on their needs. So, for example, there is a whole module that I modified in order to make sure that their needs were were met and um, it, it actually fit pretty well. So that may, meant that even the quality of my course has improved thanks to their feedback. Thank you, thank you. This is this is great. Um, and again, if you go to our um, Google Maps, you will see reviews. And I, we have uh, Tofik Tofik Khadran here. He's our top fan. He he even joined. Uh, we had an in person on-site uh, training last week uh, in AI found AI for managers in uh, Alji in Ruiba and uh, Tufik Khadran were, was there. Tufik, if you want to say something, like an Khajad Gulha, Tufik Tfadl. But now just a comment Thank you again. If you have any comments about your training, let us know at Limitless Learning. We are always um, looking for your feedback. And Anwar Kifti, uh, Kitfi, he has a comment. There have been TOEFL candidates who got super marks and their accent was just understandable. Yet we cannot deny the fact that having a native-like accent is something preferable. Sadly, there is discrimination based on accents from around the world. So it's, it's, it's a fact that is sad that we need to challenge. Um, because look how many people are from the inner circle, as we call them, and how many people globally are speaking English. And I think the balance is quite, you know, mm -hmm. the difference is quite big. We are the majority who is speaking English, and it is high time for us to empower each other and to empower ourselves to embrace this language, but take, call, take ownership of it and become the models and our language practices become the norm. Um, and th this is the only way for us to challenge the status quo. And this is the only way for, for us to value ourselves, that value each other. So if we are to, st it is a systematic issue. It is a systemic issue. It is a fact, a sad one. Uh, but then we can only, we can start individually, we can start by, by valuing each other. So if there is somebody who speaks in an accent that is um, maybe unfamiliar to you, go through the effort of accommodating them and learning about their culture and, mm -hmm. and where their accents come from, etc. Be curious, be inquisit inquisitive, be respectful of others as well. And this is the only way we can lift each other up. Thank you, Dr. Amina. This is a, this is a great reminder, uh, which, kind of, which kind of falls within the diversity, equity, and inclusion um, part of your training, because um, we, I think, um, we, uh, we don't like difference. I think a lot of people, a lot of countries have this problem, and People think that Algeria is a, is a very homogenous country, and it can keep keep. Alors que non, we have we have a lot of diversity, 
within Algeria. It's a very diverse country from north to south to east to west uh, to center. And uh, it's very, very important to empower each other and to uh, understand each other, no matter where we come from. And Haja Shift Habli, the Pedal Tree, a les and Lily Fatu, and no Lizicol National Haduli Zef, can Zef Lizicol, Hamanomia Lecol Superior des Energies Renouvelables, the Rach Shift Hafi Batman, C'est la seule école des énergies renouvelables de Zayel. And it's, uh, I think they have uh, 35 wilaya, les étudiants représentés dans 35 wilaya de l'école Hadou. So it's a very, um, very diverse school. You have people from all over Algeria and it's amazing. Uh, but I'm sure that um, it's not easy for them to interact every day. And uh, of course, a diversity, fit, inclusion, understanding and belonging is much, much needed. Uh, for Algerian society in general and universities specifically. So, adding to that, there are a lot of university uh, students who will be, who are, who have been in the past few years joining Algerian universities, um, coming from Tanzania, mm -hmm. coming from uh, Sub-Saharan Africa mainly. Um, who initially were asked to learn French in order to be part of the subject matters they applied for. Mm -hmm. But now they would not need to learn French if we are teaching in English. So someone who comes from Tanzania, for example, doesn't expect a British person to teach them in Algerian university. They're expecting an Algerian teacher to teach them but the English that this Algerian professor will be using should be at least understandable to make sure that this student coming from Tanzania is included in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole idea of it. So if there are 1% of the student population that is not from Algeria, we should include this 1%. And it will improve the learning experience for the whole 100% of the students, that the philosophy around this, and how would you operationalize this? This is what we will be learning in my course. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. So it's, I think this is a course also recommended for, um, for um, leadership positions at the university. If you are like a chef de département and some kind of leadership roles at your university, this course is really good for you because uh, you'd be able to understand and to implement the latest techniques when it comes to teaching, um, to using English as a medium of instruction and learning from the best and also uh, being able to kind of stay up to date to what's going on outside the world without having to travel. So um, at Limitless Learning, you will come online, you will come online, Les jours, ils s'adoucent comme ça par ces un jour le week-end ou un jour pendant la semaine, mais it's from 8 to 10 p.m. Et nous finissons la chatte à l'île, qui est Madorka. En général, les gens qui nous ont fait le temps, qui ont leurs personal duties and are available to work for two four hours a week. All right, we have about 10 minutes left, but um, I thank you guys for your questions. So Soraya is asking how to how do we get these courses? Yes, uh, sorry, yeah, you can just uh, go here to the EMI, professor. I just sent you the form, and I had to the formula, formula, and you follow the next steps. But the course is going to be le 4 août again, inshallah, in a few days. My Ustad Amin Adwidi, it's four weeks, two times a week, eight séances total. راح نقراو عندكم 4 heures live بصح عندكم خدمه في جوجل كلاس روم دونك توتال اتس 30 hours تاع خدمه مع الاستاذه دونك 16 heures live et le reste en google classroom so you will have all uh, the, the, the resources all the readings you need everything will be posted online كل شيء راح يكون 100% online and uh, we will be here to answer any questions you have uh, limitless learning, we have a 24 hours policy. If you have any questions, we will answer you within 24 hours. 
and at the end you get a certificate that you can use and uh, please connect with us on uh, linkedin so you can see what what we do uh, especially dr amina Dwidi, so you can see what um, what her subject matter is how how she's uh, changing the world with her with her uh, expertise and knowledge and uh, you know one step at a time with an international career mashallah and you can see how how uh, we are bringing back the experts to um, make a difference in algeria remotely it's all remote Everything is online. And uh, so you're saying uh, we need to practice the language. Yes, you do need to practice. And the next thing, go ahead, go ahead. Anna. Yes, we have a lot of speaking opportunities during the course. So there is the possibility to practice, although I don't teach English, as I mentioned at the beginning, but we have um, the opportunity to talk, to uh, use our, um, language skills during the whole course all and discuss these all these different topics so we have proficiency language proficiency pedagogy technology um, diversity equity and inclusion and we will be discussing how you would be integrating english as as soon as uh, you finish the course and how you could continue develop your uh, proficiency and also how you could continue to develop your practice as a lecturer um, in Algerian higher education setting. We we get to talk about the things that you care about. So if you are curious about publishing, we all of us will be sharing with each other resources and that's the networking bit that you talked about at the beginning. So um, there is a, a space for all of us to teach each other about new things that we maybe we didn't we we didn't know before but the the program is this we talk about english as a medium of instruction how we can individually develop our language proficiency how can pedagogy help us integrate english progressively how can technology also help us um, especially teach large classes in english and then you will have a chance to present and, and teach in in a micro teaching session and we will talk about how this whole EMI mission uh, is uh, uh, the opportunity to include more um, diverse groups in our classrooms. So that's um, the program. Thank you. You just answered the question uh, that um, Selma is asking, what is the content of the course? You just did a great job in answering that question ahead of time. Thank you. Selma, Ustada Wakent can just fahem fina. وش وش حيكون في الكو هذا في كات سمان سي فريمون باش تنعتكم كيفاش تقريو اون اونغلي في لا رونتري هذه الجايه ان شاء الله سي با كور دونغلي سي كور تاع تقريو اون اونغلي ات دي يونيفرسيتي اوكي جلول از اسكي هاو با دو فيز دونك الفيز لو بري تاع لو كور هذا راح يكون 29900 دينار في كات سمان انتنسيف دو فوا بار سمان تقراو لكن البخي هذا راح يتبدل ل 28 جويلي راح يولي 39900 دونك لكن حبيتو بروفيتي من لاكومو هادي سي لو مومون دو دو فوز انسكريغ افون ل 28 جويلي ان شاء الله اند ذن سمون اس از اسكينغ هاو بات ذا كويشن اباوت هاو تو جيت ذيس كورسز اني هاو تو ريجيستر اي ثينك ذات كويشن Get these courses. Um, again, we highly recommend inshallah keep sujlood qraw on live ma'al ustada khatar keep kun amit l'enregistrement it doesn't really make a lot of sense khatar it's interactive. Donc le cours qui t'hout t'hout qraw ma'al ustada hint qraw hadro ma'a ha hadro ma'a d'autre zakhreno but um, if you just watch the recording you're not gonna benefit as much. Donc I highly highly recommend you attend in person the uh, shtuf uh, I mean, not in person, but online, but in live with the with the teacher. Uh, you can plan for it. And uh, and Nain, that's what we said. I think. Let me double check. But yes, and uh, let me double check. Yes, Friday and Monday. So uh, Okay, we have a couple more minutes. Um, any more questions? 
Um, Anwar is uh, mentioning the, the, the topic of technology. So basically, when I initially designed the course, there wasn't a section on technology, but it was something that um, the uh, students, learners, have asked about. So how can you use technology efficiently and appropriately in your teaching? And that would also is supposed to help integrate English in your teaching. So we'll talk about this from a theoretical perspective. And when you do your teaching, you are expected to use some of these uh, tools that I will be sharing with you. Or maybe you already know them, but you will need to be using them in the room. In the, um, in order to achieve the goal of your of your um, presentation. So yes, we'll talk briefly about technology and there will be some theory as well as well as well as some practice. This is great, yes, absolutely. And uh, as a reminder, we do use Google Classroom. And I can I said that another in Moodle. Moodle is a little bit more um, tricky, I would say, not complicated, but just tricky. But Google Classroom is very easy. Like it's very straight to the point and in my picture, uh, a, a long learning curve. It's very simple to use. Uncle said that she will put, be posting your material to the classwork. And tutorials like that you can Google Meet. So we don't use Zoom, we use Google Meet, which is very easy. And uh, as needed, uh, said that she will break you up into small groups. Uh, it's very interactive. It's very fun as... Uh, as the reviewer just mentioned earlier, uh, it's very interactive and you will learn a lot. Definitely, you will become uh, a different uh, learner and a different professor after taking Dr. Amina's course. And uh, we have two more minutes with Usteda because we do not want to take a lot of her time. And then we will need to close this live. Again, like uh, I to see how Rabbit the comments. Um, if you have more questions for us, you can email us at dzlimitless at gmail.com. All the details are uh, on limitlesslearning.us. All the details are on the website. We have also a number of telephone that we have to ask you a question. Again, we have to ask you until the 28th July, but we have to benefit from the remise of 10,000 dinars. And uh, Dr. Amina, if you have anything else to add uh, to uh, close this live, uh, please go ahead and do that. And I'll just post the phone number for them. Well, thank you so much for hosting this. I remember from last um, Q&A session we had, uh, a lot of people came back to you with questions via emails. And um, I'm also happy to have consultation sessions with anyone who is curious about the course as well. So please feel free to contact me on LinkedIn. Facebook is personal. LinkedIn is professional. That's what I uh, usually do business. So happy to interact as well on LinkedIn. Thank you so much uh, for offering your time for consultations. Uh, although you don't, you don't really, you know, uh, you don't have to, but we appreciate your time and and, uh, and dedication to the course. Dr. Amina Dwiti is a very, very dedicated uh, teacher. This is why she's in our team. And uh, you will definitely, definitely uh, end up more energized after every time I have a conversation with her, I am very energized. So if you spend the whole like two hours um, taking her class, you will definitely learn a lot and, and uh Come back very very positive. So um, thank you again so much, everyone. Yeah, thank you for the questions. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for your time. Thank you for answering the questions wholeheartedly. We appreciate you. We appreciate uh, this live. And again, we hope you inshallah the course with Dr. Amina. The end of the fourth week. Don't forget to join us. 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 Thank you, Dr. Shadadi. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Islam.